Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about this Chrome extension that literally gives your browser superpowers. It's from Mind Studio, and what they've done is build a Chrome extension that offers these AI agents. They let you do so much more with your web browser. There are curated lists of agents. You can even build your own. So let's get into it. I'll show you how to install it, demo some AI agents, and walk you through how to build one. Let's proceed with the installation. We're here on the main website page. Don't worry, I'll link it down in the description below. Click on this button and it will take us to the Chrome Web Store where we can add the extension to our browser. It works on all Chromium-based browsers. If you use Arc, that will work as well. Now that we've added the extension, I'm going to pin it so that when we click on it, we can actually open up the side menu. This menu gives us access to all the agents and allows them to interact with the browser. Next, let's log in. I'm logging in with my Google account. You can clearly see that they've pre-listed everything. Open the dock icon, run the agents, and pin your favorites. Let me show you some of the agents they offer, then we'll go over how you can use them. I'll also show you a simple demo on how to build a basic agent, which you can use as a starting point to create your own. Now that we've got it set up, Let's look at some of the agents available here. And it's a pretty crazy selection. We have research agents, including one for deep research. You'll notice some agents are free. They don't have anything written underneath them, while the paid ones are clearly labeled. There are some really cool agents as well, like a fact check agent and a product comparison agent. There are also agents for content creation. For example, there's a TLDR agent that instantly summarizes your documents and articles. You could do the same thing by copying everything into ChatGPT, but this way it feels a lot more seamless. We also have social media agents that can take content directly from a page and transform it into posts for LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, or even turn a YouTube video into an article. There are image generation agents as well. And the fun thing is, they're also free. There are agents for developers too, though I didn't find them all that useful. The API cheat sheet agent does look promising. It takes any API documentation and generates a cheat sheet explaining how to use it. It's helpful if you want to understand the code yourself, but with tools like Cursor and Windsurf, the AI can just implement the code for you so there's not really a need anymore. There are also some paid AI models and other fun tools to explore. Let me demo a few of these and show you how they work. Now that we've installed it and seen some examples, let's run one on our YouTube video. We've got our YouTube channel open, so let's click on one of our videos. In the For Creators section, if you scroll ahead, there's a YouTube to X thread agent. That's what we're going to run on this video. To run the agent, just click on run. It'll open up this interface. It's actually a pretty nice UI. The agent starts running and continues processing on its own. A cool thing that just popped up is the notification feature. It actually lets you know when the agent is done. Some agents take a while, like two to three minutes. So instead of waiting around, you'll get a notification once it finishes. Here we can see that the thread has been generated. This really makes things easier for me. Usually, when I have to post my videos on X, I either write the thread manually or generate it from my script. With this, it's a seamless process. I can run the agent on my video, copy the results, and post them to X. This isn't the only tool. You can see it pulled the video's URL, so it's likely extracting the transcript directly. There are tools online that do the same from a YouTube URL, and it probably uses something similar to generate the thread. This is just one of many tools. It also works for LinkedIn. There's even a YouTube video description generator that includes chapters and timestamps. Super helpful for me, since I've never really done that before. Here's another cool AI agent you can use. I've opened up this MacBook Pro specifications page, it's the actual product page, and it has all the specs listed. That helps the AI agent, which is designed to find competitors for your product. Let's run it and see what competitors it suggests for the MacBook Pro. It 
it's done, and it actually pulled all the features and gave us a competitor analysis. It highlights the strengths and weaknesses of the MacBook Pro compared to competitors. This is actually pretty good and useful. You get accurate competitor suggestions based on the specs it reads directly from the web page. Now let's move on to the building part. I made this agent called Word Query. It's something I wanted for myself. Say you're browsing and come across a word you want to learn more about. Normally, you'd copy it, go to ChatGPT and ask. With this tool, you can simply select the word like I've selected Vibe Coding and run the tool. Let's wait while the agent runs. It prompts you to type in a question. If you enter one, it applies that question to the selected word. If you leave it blank, it gives you the meaning. Since we selected Vibe Coding and didn't ask anything, it returned the meaning of the term. Going back and opening the menu, go to the Build tab. You'll see Published and Drafts. Expand it and find the Create a New Agent section. Clicking that opens a new project in a visual builder, like Building Automations. Inside the builder, you'll see a Start and End block. Click on the Start block to configure Triggers and Run Mode. Select Browser Extension and this will give you useful launch variables like URL and user selection. These let you grab data directly from the web page. Next, add a user input block. Create a new input with the variable name user question and label it as question. Now add a generate text block. You'll see other options like generate image, which lets you create images from selected text. Select generate text, and in the prompt area, use double curly brackets to insert variables. First, reference the user selection, then write this conditional prompt. If the user question is empty, return the meaning of the user input. If not, return what the question asks. This prompt is sent to the model. You can also select which model to use. The free ones are Claude 3.5 Haiku and GPT-40 Mini. For now, I'll leave it as it is. Under Output Behavior, you should choose to display the result. Also, there was a bug. Even though behavior was set to End Session, the agent still returned a JSON output. As a temporary fix, I removed the End block. It didn't officially end the agent, but I could go back, so it worked. I'll look into a more permanent fix. Once you're done, click Publish to make your agent functional. All right, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching and found it helpful. Whether you're just exploring AI agents for the first time or already deep into the world of automation, I think this extension has a lot to offer. If you found this useful, consider dropping a super thanks. It really helps us out and keeps content like this going. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.